I found this crock pot in a vintage store for under $10. It's in great shape, and I love this retro design aesthetic. I'm going to make my favorite curry chicken recipe in a crock pot. I'm using chicken thighs because I love the flavor. Make sure you get the skin nice and crispy. We grew up with all kinds of different cuisines, especially because of my mom's Caribbean heritage. Her curry chicken was a family favorite. Once the chicken has been browned, drain the excess fat from the pan. Add some butter to cook the aromatics. I really want to layer the flavors. I found these retro labels, but this is the brand of curry powder I use. I also use a jarred curry paste and tomato paste for extra body and flavor. A can of whole plum tomatoes will give richness to the sauce. I'm going to crush them by hand. I love using lime leaves. They'll go in too. Then a can of good quality coconut milk. Bring to a gentle boil before adding to the crock pot. Load the cold crock pot with the brown chicken. You can see it's pretty deep. Then add that delicious sauce. Put the lid on and start the crock pot on high for one hour. After an hour, I'll turn the heat to low and then I'll go for a walk in the park. I'll let the curry cook for about three hours. All that time has given my curry richness, body, and delicious flavor. The curry is best served over basmati rice. I love all the chunks of tomato, onion, and garlic that make a deep, rich curry sauce. Garnish with fresh cilantro for color and texture. I was so happy with the results. I definitely need to try more recipes using this beauty.